Well, slippery. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Art of Ram Draw here. I'm here with Maddie. Hello. What up? How long have you been skating for? Uh, a year. A year. That's right. So today, we're getting into transition basics, all right? What we're gonna teach, the first step after, we already know how to drop in, we know how to roll in. That's from the basics. It's season two now. We're gonna start hitting tricks in the mini ramp. What we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be working on kick turns on quarter pipes, all right? So we talked about it, and here's a quick little recap on banks. We talked about going up, do a 90 degree turn, and turning down the rest of the way, working our way into a full 180. Now you're gonna have to have the full 180 mastered. Maddie, do you have full 180s? Yes. On a bank master. Great. All right, she's got it. So we're gonna roll up and we're gonna start doing our turn. Here's what we're gonna end up doing, all right? We're gonna actually come up today and we're gonna do a little grind and go back down, all right? It's called a slash grind. It's the basic, the most first trick besides rock to figures, which we'll do that tomorrow, all right? But today we're working on dropping in doing kick turns on quarter pipes and eventually grinding, all right? So, with that said, a couple things to, uh, to know before we get into this. One, you gotta have that 180, that full 180. And let's just even back it up. It doesn't even, you don't even have to go straight up and down. You can go at a little bit of an arc. So it's probably like a 150 that you're actually gonna be doing, okay? So, have that dialed in. Couple things, let's just come out on the ramp here, Franco. And get warmed up with a couple kick turns. We haven't even talked about kick turning on quarter pipes yet, and we're gonna do that right now. So, when we come up a ramp, which it's very similar to the bank, except it's gonna be a little bit quicker on the ride out, all right? So going up is gonna feel very similar. It's the ride out that comes up a little quicker than a bank ramp. So, a couple things, this is just a little review of the basics, but we wanna come up, we wanna lead with our head, and our shoulder, all right? So that's the first step. Go up the ramp, start the turn early. As you're still going up the ramp, you're already looking back, you're pointing where you wanna go, and that's gonna get you your upper body starting the turn. Once you get up into the, uh, about to turn, you're gonna bend out your waist, you're gonna keep your weight in the ramp. We all know what happens when you put your, your weight on top of the board, when you're at an angle, you slip out, you fall every single time. So, after that, we're gonna bend our knees after we ride away. We're gonna ride up, turn our head, turn our shoulder, bend our waist, and then we're gonna turn our waist and our feet, drag the board around, we're looking straight ahead, and we're gonna talk about a couple of things that always happens when you do this. Um, a lot of brand new riders, this always happens, and here's a little demonstration of that. A lot of kids will come up, they'll try to turn, and they'll leave this arm back here like this, all right? Now, that's not, there's no wrong way to skateboard. We've always talked about this. There's the easy way and the hard way. So you have to lead with that head, you have to lead with your shoulders, and you have to lead with your arm, all right? So, here's a little demonstration. You always start slow and work your way up in skateboarding. It's the best way to do it. Would you rather land a trick in 300 tries or three tries? Tell me that. That's right, comment below. All right, so you're coming up, you look back, you turn, and you work on your kick turn. You just do little ones that work. All right, and you're trying to do that whole pivot. One thing that's gonna make it a lot easier for you is as you come up the ramp, press really hard on your back foot, on your big toe, all right? That's gonna give you that pivot point to rotate around, all right? Don't look at the board. It's only gonna add nonsense in your mind when you're skating. Look where you wanna go, all right? That's what we got going. So, work on your kick turns. Work them up, try to do three in a row. Work on your pumping and go higher and higher and higher, all right? So we're throwing down, we're working on our pump, we're staying low, we're still, we're beginner skateboarders, we're staying low. All right, we're gonna start working our way up. All right, I did a bunch, I'm feeling really good. Once you can do that, you're ready for this, the slash grind, all right? That's where we're gonna have Maddie come in. She's been skating for a year, she's never done a slash grind, on purpose. Maybe on accident? Maybe. Maybe. Who knows? She don't remember. Let's get it. All right, so let's set this up. Maddie, can we just see, can you drop it on the spot and do a kick turn on this ramp? Let's see what that looks like. So as if I was gonna give Maddie a lesson again, I know we skated before a year ago when we first started. She's gonna drop in, she's gonna do a kick turn, backside kick turn on the quarter pipe. Let's see. You got it, you got it. Drop it. And that's great. Actually, 
actually had enough speed, got up into a feeble stall, almost an axle stall right there. Not feeble, axle stall. Yeah. Right. So she's been working hard. She's got the kick turn. She has the confidence about getting up. But now we gotta just try to work. We're gonna work on a slash grind, all right? So I'm gonna demonstrate one. And all I'm gonna do is really push my toe when I'm on the metal. I'm gonna keep my front board, the front of my board up and over the coping and just have it rotate all the way around. Coming up. You know my favorite words right here, right? Right here. Let's get it. All right, let's get low. I'm gonna just take it right on there, all right? So this is gonna open up a lot of stuff for you guys, especially when we start getting into advanced bowl and work. This is the basics to do in an air, okay? So you want to learn how to keep your front trucks up in the air and do a kick turn. So, Maddie, you went a little too fast that time, all right? So what if we started, we pumped up, and then you try to kick turn and just try to scratch the coping real quick, all right? Let's, let's see what you can do with that, all right? So get a good pump. Looks like Maddie's dialed in pumping, all right? Oh, oh, oh. Try and do that kick turn, all right? Now pumping with a kick turn, that, that, that gets somewhere. That's a little harder, all right? You guys you're gonna have to work on that to pump, main, maintain speed. I would recommend trying in the bowl or the vert ramp so you can start getting up really high and like in a five, six foot comfortable area and that's gonna really help out too. All right, let's get back to it. Okay, that wasn't working. Let's try it again. Let's try something else. Let's try dropping in again. This time, I notice you drop in right here. Let's drop in over here, all right? Let's try that. So we, we wanna add more of an arc to our kick turn, all right? That's gonna make this slash grind work out a lot easier, all right? Now, Maddie, rule number one, don't freak out, all right? All right. You got this, stay low. Look, point, you're going right over the roller once you grind, all right? And you will land this. All right, great, great, this is great, guys. Notice the straight legs, all right? We don't want to be straight leg because we just lose our, we lose the ability to really catch ourselves and recover from things, all right? So, next try, I bet you have it. All you have to do is just bend your knees when you come out of it. All right. And as what we were talking about, you probably can see that Maddie got a little bit more on the heels than on the toes on that one. And that actually probably hurt, like made that kick out, which we just saw. Great execution on that fall right there. Caught herself. Everyone's good. You ready to try again? All right. All right. On the exhale now. As you approach, Maddie, try breathing out and just looking right at the roller. Don't worry about the grind or anything. It'll happen. And you have enough speed, you're a great skater, just ram it down. Here we go. All right, loves getting up on top of that coping there. No big deal, no big deal. A little slower, right? A little less pump right there. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna over exaggerate this for y'all. That's sort of how you get out of a backside kick turn. 
Slash drum. Here we go. Nice and easy. Dang, that was it. Next try. You got it. Next try. Heck yeah. That's what's up. Get it. Really got that my knees on this one? One of the most crucial things that I mentioned about five minutes ago, right here. That's what you gotta say. You just gotta say right here. I'm gonna do it right here. I'm gonna ride away. Remember, positivity is everything in skateboarding. You gotta create your own destiny out there, kids. Come on, let's get it, Maddie. Dig deep. Dang! Her first slash grind ever only took five tries. Did you see that? Now she just added a new trick. And she's just gonna probably keep practicing that and the hype is gonna be there, you know? And that's how you add confidence and that's how you do things. Maddie, bring it in, bring it down. Hey, peace. <laughs> she, trog lock video coming soon, all right? That's what's up. Thanks to Maddie, everyone. Thanks for watching The Art of Ram. Subscribe below, tell your friends about it, and we'll see you next time, probably tomorrow, all right? Ram it down, let's get it.